Next thing I wanted to touch upon was this. Have you guys seen what's been going on with Elon Musk at Twitter? This is absolutely hilarious. So Elon Musk is at Twitter now. Obviously, he's kind of closed the deal on Twitter. Was it $44 billion, um, to kind of rewrite the wrongs of that platform and bring it back to some degree and turn it into the, what do you say he wants it to be? The public town square, right? So he's obviously bought that and there's big news around it because he plans to fire quite a lot of staff members on it. And I think I covered it in my last stream that the latest figure was something around 75%. And the reason why they were saying that was because um, they say basically they've got too many staff members in general. It's not just Elon Musk being a prick. It's more so Twitter has bas it's basically overstaffed. And considering that they... Um, considering that they're kind of hem losing a lot of money the great the best thing to do when you've got a business is to kind of cut your losses in terms of salaries and that will end up helping you save a bunch of cash so that whole thing's been going on on social and because twitter's you know for the most part the people that kind of run twitter in terms of you know the rules and the regulations are usually quite left-leaning a lot of those people have been quite nervous because a lot of people that work in twitter is also you'd imagine are quite left-leaning also so they're getting all nervous thinking we're going to be the ones first on the chopping block but i think elon's been clear and said oh if you're good at what you do you're going to be kept or something so it's a lot of pressure around there but anyway um it's funny because it looks like the fucking vermin journalist media right the mainstream media the vermin it's imagine right 75 percent of the flipping twitter staffs are going to get fucking let go we're we're just approaching november christmas is soon coming up all these people regardless if they get a severance payment or not are going to be without a job mostly most of them you would imagine um until christmas and you know if you've ever lost your job before you know how stressful it is regardless if it's a justifiable you know sacking if it's something that you didn't see happening um whatever it is it's always hard to lose your job especially if it's something out of your control so imagine the flipping mainstream media deciding to pitch outside of one of the Twitter offices, I guess, trying to see if they can catch a word with people who got fired and interview them on one of their darkest days ever, right? And to get interviewed these people who have just got fired. So it's probably karmic retribution that them they went out there to go and interview Twitter staff that got fired and then ended up interviewing two guys who are pulling a prank they don't even work for fucking twitter that's absolutely amazing isn't it um so it says pranks is posing as later twitter employees trick media outlets ralu ligma <laughs> that's really brilliant it says you know two a pair of pranksters posing as laid off twitter employees tricked multiple media outlets friday as a public anxiously awaited news on whether elon Musk had began axing staffers cnbc's their um theater Deidre Bosa interviewed two people who identified themselves as Twitter employees and were seen near the company's San Francisco headquarters carrying a cardboard boxes. Oh my God. Skepticism immediately emerged on social media. One of the pranksters said that his name was Rahul Ligma, a reference to a popular internet meme and held a copy of Michelle Obama's book, Becoming a Loft while speaking to reporters. <laughs> the other said that his name was Daniel Johnston. <laughs> absolutely brilliant great fucking troll and i think it's what they deserve especially these journalists who think they're actual journalists when they're nothing but fucking you know um glorified blog writers right there's nothing with nothing wrong with the blog but these guys act as if they're fucking more than what they are when all they do is participate in muck reporting imagine people are getting fired right people are really really on their you know on their flipping they're going for a really stressful time you know like i've, I've been fired before or let go from a company um that was going under just before christmas and it's absolutely horrible horrible to go through that especially when you're not too sure how much severance you're going to get you don't know what the job market is looking like because you haven't been looking because you're just focused on your job and then suddenly during one of the happiest times in the year when you're interviewed your family and loving life and eating loads of food and drinking to be merry you're actually eating because you're depressed and drinking because you're depressed imagine how horrible that is so uh, it's actually good that they got pranked by these guys honestly i'm really really happy they got pranked by these guys and the video is even better about it i mean honestly the, the video of it's even better look at the guy getting interviewed by one of the seeing the fox reporters and listen to what he says this is absolutely classic man i absolutely love this big up them his own words. what do you make of that what do you think twitter will look like i mean a free speech is you know nazis saying that uh you know trans women shouldn't you know use women's uh locker rooms then Awesome. I guess mission accomplished. We'll see. <laughs> Listen, I got to touch base with my husband and wife. I got to get out of here. All right. Thank you guys. Sorry, Daniel. Thank <laughs> It's almost 
time. Listen, I got to touch base with my husband and wife. I got to get out of here, all right? Thank you, guys. <laughs> I got to touch base with my husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely hilarious man honestly these guys absolutely smashed it honestly absolutely smashed it what an excellent excellent troll and you can see he kind of broke towards the end there's a little sly smile here look look at the corner of his mouth look at that he knows he knows the damage that he's done he knows <laughs> that he's gonna go viral honestly these journalists meant to have journalistic standards and whatnot and they couldn't fucking figure out that these guys were pranking it the guy on the left here holding the fucking michelle obama book with his apple airpod maxes hanging out of the box a little bit absolutely horrendous he's wearing like bicycle shorts i think with like suck with like wrestling shoes like just <laughs> brilliant stuff honestly they absolutely got trolled and i love it because like i said before getting fired is no fucking joke so the fact that they're annoyed that trump sorry trump wow fraudulent slip there the fact that they're annoyed that elon musk is firing all these people is one thing fair be annoyed but then the fact that they'd go out there and fucking interview people whilst they're going through one of the most stressful times of anybody's life is absolutely deplorable and shows that they have no journalistic standards they have no ethics they have no principles no morals nothing just want to make sure they get maximum clicks so it's good that they got trolled man i'm happy they got trolled and i'm happy it turned into an absolute nothing burger story and the journalistic standards that they don't have got absolutely exposed absolutely happy that that happened absolutely happy that that happened